Welcome to, I don't know why I always start out with a snap. I gotta say the hardest thing since I've started vlogging is my intros and my outros between clips. It's it's surprisingly hard. Um, but, welcome to Monday. So the weekend I didn't do a whole lot of filming again, did a little bit. Uh, it was pretty a pretty chill, relaxed weekend. Uh, this week's going to be pretty hectic though, got a wedding at the end of the week, going to uh, a buddy's wedding, so you'll see some footage of that in next week's vlog, and this week's going to be a lot more of uh, discussion around the fit body, fit mind, and fit life. I'm going to kind of rework this specific series. Uh, the first eight episodes, including this one, the ninth episode, uh, are, have been good practice. They've gotten... Um, They've ironed out some of the kinks, I should say. I've been able to work on the editing, work on the dedication to making sure every Thursday they come out, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but I will be changing up the um, changing up the formula, if you will, on how this specific vlog is structured. In essence, the whole point... Hold on, there's a hair on my lens. Sorry about that. Yeah, so in essence, the whole point of this specific series... Uh, was to really showcase the lifestyle component of the three pillars, the fit body, fit mind, fit life. Now, that being said, it's interesting, I suppose, to watch someone's life unfold. However, the point really was to watch my journey transform both body and mind and the vlog, right? So there's a lot of moving parts that I'm, I'm getting into right now, uh, and I don't feel like I'm I'm demonstrating or I'm showcasing that progression or that that transition as well as I could be, especially based off of what I'm looking to do with the Fit Body Fit Mind series that I'll be launching uh, in the coming months. So I'm going to be restructuring this series just a little bit to kind of put a little bit more emphasis on the actual um, uh, milestones set, and then showing through showing like the progression through accomplishing. It'll make sense keep watching it'll make sense but let's flip over to uh the computer where we can check out uh what i've been working on and i can kind of update you guys on yeah where the series is gonna go so let's flip over there hey what's going on guys welcome to my desktop so i have uh, previously recorded this segment of the video it was like 32 minutes long crazy long uh totally just vented or I shouldn't say vented i just rambled 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 kind of like what i'm doing right now so let's just get into it on a hyper speed and get through the p parts that i want to get through so uh this whole segment right here is just going to be me kind of breaking down each element of the series the fit body fit mind that will be coming out in the next couple months Briefly going through uh, just an introduction to the topics and trying not to spend too much time on each one as you'll figure out uh, what it all is and how it all comes together in the future. So first and foremost, the fit body uh, episode. So I have a little chart here that I've developed broken down into different episode numbers and then into the actual topics for each of those episodes. So for the first episode, we're going to be doing an introduction. So what that looks like will be an overview in the very beginning, what you're going to learn in the overall series, uh, what's in the what, what's up the following week, and then stay connected and share. Uh, so that's kind of like a really brief bird's eye view of what you could expect in the introduction episode. If we scroll down here, however, we're going to see a little bit more of a, a detailed uh, focus on that, that episode per se. Um, and what that will uh, entail is more of the technical or the uh, critical components that I want to make sure uh, stays or is uh, discussed or talked about inside of that episode. So I want to make sure that I go over what exactly this uh, fit body series is going to look like, what what is what is going to talk about and really how it separates us from everyone else. And what I mean by that is like there's millions, millions of people out 
on the internet showing us how to work out, you know, uh, how many reps to do, how many sets to do, what's the best exercise for the for a specific part of your body, best days to work out, best times of day, everything, you name it, it's out there. What we're doing over here in th- at 365 to Fit is we're focusing on the behaviors that help us get into a fit li- a fit lifestyle. Whether you're a veteran in the gym, whether you're brand new to uh, a, a, a gym class, whether it's yoga or Pilates or kickboxing or anything, what we're doing here is we're showing you how to build up your behavior to ultimately achieve your number one goal within the fitness world. And again, fitness does not just imply a gym. It, it, it's anything. It's walking your dog. It's just getting up and moving. It's changing your sedentary lifestyle to just going for a walk with a neighbor or going for a walk with your kids or with your spouse. So we're not focusing on what to do or how, how to work out. We're focusing on how to develop the behaviors that are going to bring about the most important change in your life. And that is to enhance the quality of both your fitness and your mindset. So that's kind of like a really I'm pretty pretty good actually. I think I took 15 minutes to explain that part in the in my first attempt. So th- that's really in a, in a really brief nutshell what this specific program is. 365 to fit isn't a workout program and isn't a meditation uh, class. It is a program that focuses on all of the moving pieces, all of the technical elements that develop and and shape a behavior to achieve and reach and accomplish your your number one goals and that's that's literally what the uh, episodes um, are and how they're laid out so the introduction fit body introduction we've already gone over that what we're gonna learn in the overall series explaining reinforcement so as a as a behavioral technician uh, and a uh, educational background in applied behavioral analysis, reinforcement is everything, right? It's the very reason we go to work. It's uh, why I'm doing this right now. There is reinforcing value in all of the behaviors that we do on repeat, right? We go to work because we get a paycheck at the end. We go to work because the lives we touch at work uh, has a significant impact. So what we're going to do here in the explaining reinforcement um, topic is we're going to go over just generally what is reinforcement within the world of of fitness, right? How how can we reinforce those small baby steps to getting ourselves off the couch or to getting us into the gym or to getting us into a class? Uh, And then we're further going to elaborate the following week on positive reinforcement. So I'm going to go into the difference between what's positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. What What is the difference between the two and how can we u- leverage and utilize both to build up our behavior? I should also note at this point in time that these episodes are going to be educationally focused, probably won't contain much or any vlogging type of footage, and will be five minutes in length. They're going to be bite-sized, easily consumed, Uh, videos that are going to teach you on these critical components that build up the very behavior that we're going to work towards developing to obtain and achieve your number one goal. Uh, The fifth episode is going to be reinforcement hierarchy. So that's kind of my own thing that I've developed for this specific program. We all have different reinforcers. We all work for different things. We we find different things give us uh, satisfaction on various levels. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that in that episode and how we can strategically position different things that reinforce us for different milestones along our journey. So we're going to strategically talk about how to pair up the best reinforcement to uh, a specific accomplishment. And another note to add here is all of these episodes are going to have their own documents that you can go to my website and print off. So the reinforcement hierarchy, for example, is going to be a worksheet that you're going to have access to. You can print off and you can fill it out yourself. The video is going to go through uh, a brief overview of that that reinforcement hierarchy and just kind of walk you through how to fill that out and and the importance of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create and provide to you the the documentation uh, required for you to follow along and start working towards building your 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 dreams, following your dreams, accomplishing your dreams by developing a blueprint that's going to uh, get you step by step to where you want to go. Uh, 
Episode 6, accountability. Accountability is huge. We'll go into that in Episode 6. Episode 7, uh, establish the goal. So start with the end in mind. Where do we want to go? And from that point, let's reverse engineer the entire process and then start at the very basics, the very beginning. And if it's a new goal, something we've never obtained before, we don't know the exact path. We have no idea. But if we reverse engineer in a way that we think is the right path, we start, we put our first foot forward, and from that point, because we've started, we can now kind of pivot and and um, navigate our way to the accurate path that will get us to that, that ultimate goal. But it's starting with the end in mind, reverse engineering, and then starting the starting the goal from the very beginning. So we're going to go over that. We're also going to go into shaping your goal, what that means uh, about uh, essentially taking your goal and how we're, exactly we're going to do the step-by-step process. We're going to shape your goal so that way you can uh, ap- appropriately break down those steps and not bite off more than you can chew. That's going to segue beautifully into behavioral momentum. It's probably a term a lot of you haven't heard of before, but that's really, in my opinion, the overarching um, concept, if you will, of, of really the establishing your goal and shaping your goal. And that's that we always want to make sure we have momentum. So when we're talking about shaping your goal and making sure we have bite-sized chunks, we want to we that goes perfectly in hand with behavioral momentum and that we want to make sure that we don't get discouraged, we don't become demotivated because our expectations and, and goal setting has been too far in advance. It's too it's too much. It's unattainable right now. So let's we're going to focus on that how to set realistic attainable goals that may at first seem silly and easily accomplished but that's how we build behavioral momentum so we're going to go into that and then enhancing your environment we're going to talk about your home environment your work environment your environment that you travel in we're going to talk about environments and how we can enhance and shape those environments to support and encourage success so those are the first 10 episodes they are subject to change if i find a better um, pattern or i should say a better flow makes sense or I want to consolidate some, we'll see. But that's the first 10 episodes. So if we go down here to all the way down here, Fit Mind. So Fit Mind is going to have the exact same episodes. So you might be thinking, Ben, why in the world are you going to have the same 10 episodes for both series right out of the gate? It's a great question. A lot of times this, or I should say, this is going to be new to a lot of you. Reinforcement might be a new term to you. It may not be a new term to you. But what's going to happen in the difference is, is that the introduction, the introduction, sorry, is going to uh, go over specifically the Fit Mind series and what what you can expect from that series. Explaining reinforcement, the concept's the same. Reinforcement's the same as it is in Fit Fit Body. However, the examples and the way that we're going to explain uh, reinforcement is going to look a little differently when we're talking about the Fit Mind series. Um, so it's it's imperative to watch both uh, explain reinforcement episodes within the Fit Mind series and the Fit Body series. A because it's going to give you more exposure to the term and the the foundational knowledge of reinforcement. But secondly, it's going to give you different examples and different ways of looking at reinforcement uh, in different uh, sections or different components of your lifestyle. So that's going from a fitness aspect right through to your mindset. So it's important to watch both. Despite them being the same topic, they're going to have very different examples and it's going to give you more exposure to the actual term. The same thing rings true for positive and negative reinforcement. We're going to go over specifically what positive and negative reinforcement are. But in this sense, we're, again, we're going to use examples that are relevant to the Fit Mind series. So I can't reiterate enough the importance to watch both in both Fit Body and Fit Mind series. Positive reinforcement, the concepts are the same. The examples and exposure will be different, or the exposure would be the same, I suppose. Totally the same. <clears throat> Reinforcement hierarchy, same concept as, as I said before. Accountability, same thing. Again, it's important to watch all this just because I will be tweaking them a bit to accommodate and fit into the the series that they're pl- they're um, paired with. So don't think accountability episodes going to be the same in fit mind as it is in fit body. It will be similar information. So don't think it's going to be completely different. It's similar information, but it'll have a bit of a different spin that makes it relevant to the series. So it's very important to check all these videos out. 
Same thing, establish goal, shape goal, behavioral momentum, and enhance environment. It's all the same stuff. Uh, super stoked about all of this. It's uh, going to take great shape. I'm already starting to kind of work on each of it. Again, just to uh, sum those two series up, they're going to be launching hopefully within the next couple months. They will be educational videos, probably not having any vlogging uh, type of footage in it. They will be five minutes roughly in length, so they're going to be bite size easily digested consumable videos um, I'm going to one one up that and be and offer uh, documents for each episode you're gonna be able to go onto the website and download documents for each episode that are gonna give you uh, pretty well an overview of what we talked about what is the definition for reinforcement what were the examples so that way you can have a physical copy that you can always reference and say okay what was negative reinforcement and with that, you're going to be able to start to build your own little um, collection of, of resources that you can reference time and time again uh, when we're going through the program. The reinforcement hierarchy is going to be huge as well. You're going to fill that out, and that's going to be directly applicable to you and your lifestyle. So that's super important. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Pretty much that. I'm trying to cut the fat off this version of the commentary just because i went way past you last time uh last but not least fit life so really in a nutshell this is going to be the video you're watching right now i think the the vlogging series is going to just en encompass the fit life pillar um as you'll see here i wrote out the topics and then the release dates all that so i think we're just gonna just bring the vlogging series into the fit life pillar and just call that uh the fit life element or the section of the fit life uh, pillar that being said though i did comment uh previously how the vlog may take a bit of a different spin i may be switching up some of the formatting of this vlog i don't feel like i'm doing enough justice and showing you guys uh the ugly truths uh you know the struggles that i'm having and the successes i'm having i'm not really uh being transparent that way it's been hard to figure out how to convey that or how to show you guys that but it's something i want to be mindful of and start to kind of show you it it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if every every episode you guys watch is you know a little bit of erica's in my life here and you know hanging out with her brothers here and a voice over here i want to have some more of a consistent format in which there's a segment where you guys can see some of my struggles during that past week and some of the successes and that way we can see and, and compare the contrast between each episode as we progress because right now we're not really seeing a before photo uh in fact i haven't done any before photos or before measurements since the very first episode and as of last week we've been doing this for two months so I need to I need to develop a little bit more of a better. Um, um, I'm at a loss for words. I just rambled on. I we need to develop a little bit of a better format for each episode, just to give you guys a little bit more uh, context and show you the struggles and the successes. Because that that's really what what I want 365 to fit to be. It, it's not about reaching your goal. It, it's about the struggles in between and how using the behavioral principles to overcome and keep like i say behavioral momentum in play so that way we can always overcome and and um and gain access to that next reinforcer gain access to that next uh milestone uh, that to me is where the value lies in this program if you guys have any questions concerns comments drop it down below make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, this is what 365 to fit is going to become. I'm super excited. I'm glad you're listening. I'm glad you're part of the journey and we are going to make this a phenomenal program that's going to spread across the world. I can assure you that. But before we hit the 20 minute mark, let's get back into the vlog. Thanks guys. What are we doing?
completely dark, you can barely see us, except for when the lights hit us just right. We are on our way home now. Happy birthday, Mel. It was a good old party. Happy birthday, Melanie. Yes, ma'am. Uh, lots of food, lots of dessert. I'm full, I'm bloated. <laughs> what else? You had a lot of beer. I had three or four beer. But here's the thing, folks. Here I am working out. Why does one drink so much alcohol when they're working out? It's counterintuitive. Mm. This is correct. In some respect, it is counterintuitive, especially when you're drinking uh, is, is in excess and your caloric intake is so high. The, the whole point of all this is the lifestyle. So the lifestyle I want to live is I want to eat whatever I want to eat when I want to eat it. Balance. And I want to be able to drink what I want to drink when I want to drink it. Does that mean I'm going to have the best physique on the planet? Not a chance. But that's, that's not the lifestyle I want. The lifestyle I want is that it's just what Erica said, is the balance between being fit, being healthy, and then being able to enjoy life, being able to enjoy the company of other people and not limiting yourself. It exists at the sacrifice of uh, not obtaining a specific physique look or, or what have you. So you have to kind of focus and balance. What are your goals? What do you want out of life? Like what's the lifestyle you want to live All right, here we are guys. We are on to our third week of some gym footage. Today we're doing um, hamstrings, shoulders, calves. Um, back in the day, my shoulders were pretty good. Check out, well, you can see a picture right now. Shoulders responded well to training in the past, so let's try and get them back up to there. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tough workout. It's a long one. I think there's like eight or nine exercises today, so it's already pushed to 9.30 in the evening, so we got our work cut out for us. So let's uh, flip to the footage. Today is bounce, 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 Yeah.